why is it that we have such a visceral response to seeing people we love um, have sex with others? And it's pleasure at the end of the day. Right. So I think that jealousy uh, is a learned something we learn, um, and I think that jealousy comes from so much, uh, so much from the mainstream media. So music, TV, movies. You know, it's all about all the story is guy finds girl, guy mm -hmm. loses girl. To guy some other guy. To some other guy. <laughs> guy wins girl back, right? right we don't yeah. have we don't have good examples of how to um, have romantic relationships with other people. Monogamy in Western culture today is dating one person, being romantically involved with one person, having sex with one person. All the same person. All the same person, <laughs> yes, very important. <laughs> um, Non-monogamy is anything that is not that. Um, polyamory is a specific type of non-monogamy that is centered around multiple relationships. Um, so for example, I've been with my partner Jen here for 10 years. Two other serious girlfriends I've been with for five years each. It took me a couple years to really get, um, to kind of deprogram some of that jealousy so that it wasn't crippling, right? And now I'm like, oh, you're going out? Have yes, a good time. Have a great time. <laughs> I, I'm going to watch romantic comedies. I. Uh, grew up in a household with an open relationship among my parents, so I didn't have the parent model of jealousy, right? I just didn't pick it up, and I don't really get jealous, and I've never had to unlearn it. So if you, so when you see Jen, okay, if you see Jen with someone else having a great time, it doesn't, doesn't, you don't, mm -hmm. it doesn't stir you? It, that butterfly it actually, feeling? It, it's weird. Uh, we have actually been in situations where, for example, Jen has a date over. They're having sex in the next room or sometimes in the same room, right? And it doesn't <laughs> stir me in any way. 